Shalom Abracha from Yerushalayim. We will continue with the Minhagim pertaining to Rosh Chodesh. We ended up last week with the uh, uh, reciting by the Kahal of Barachin of Shin, and we're beginning to say the Arbit. Um, being that it's Rosh Chodesh, you may find Minyanim, depends on the Minyan, depends on the Kahal, where the Hazar will sing the Kaddish and sing the Raubanim, lead the, the Kahal in the, in the singing of Raubanim. Uh, because of the Rosh Chodesh. Generally, from what I, what I remember growing up is that in the weekday minyanim in, uh, in, in Brooklyn, this was never done. People, they wanted an efficient, quick minyan. Uh, so they didn't, they didn't sing the Kaddish. I know in Addis, any opportunity we have to sing, we sing. So certainly the Rosh Chodesh doesn't go by without the Kaddish being, being sung and the Rabbanim being sung. Uh, be that as it may, we finish with the with the Kirat Shema, with the Ashkivenu, Kaddish, and now we're going to say the Amidah. And the Amidah, we have to say Ya'ale Be'abo. How do we remind the people so they don't forget Ya'ale Be'abo and the Amidah? The most common way in our community, and it's even brought down by the Bihaid Palachi and the other Aharonim, that the the people, there's either the Shamash starts a little bit earlier. So he gets the Ya'alei Be'abo clearly before anybody else, and he'll scream out the Ya'alei Be'abo, and everybody knows that, that they have to, they'll hear it, and they have to say Ya'alei Be'abo. Uh, today, what, what happens mainly in our community is that uh, they, they don't have to start early. The, the first one to get the Ya'alei Be'abo will say Ya'alei Be'abo out loud, and you may have it here a couple of times. After two or three times, it really it, uh, it becomes uh, uh, you know unnecessary for anybody to scream out the Ya'alei Be'abo after most of the Kahal already said it. So it's the first two or three that get there and everybody knows that to say Alevi Abu. Uh, I've heard on occasion, uh, an Arbit at least, where someone will scream out Alevi Abu even before Amidah starts because there's no Geulah Letfilah issue with Juhan Shahari. So you can say that. Another way is that the Hazan, when he begins the Amidah, will say Eloheinu, Eloheinu, a little bit in a raised voice, hinting to say Yalev Yavu to remind the people because Yalev Yavu also begins with the words Eloheinu, Eloheinu, Eloheinu. What we do not do, and whoever had the opportunity to pray with the Ashkenazim, they have a custom, a fixed custom. Every Ashkenazim in the world comes when it is Yalev Yavu in Amidah, Beginning of Amidah before they start, after the Kaddish, the one of the Gabbaim will bang twice loudly on the Teba, and that's the Siman that everybody knows to say Ya'alev Abu. We don't bang, okay? And uh, I, I uh, suggest that we don't begin this custom. We have ways to, to remind the people uh, without banging, okay? Now, we get the Ya'alev Abu, I want to discuss the wording, the Nusha'ot that we have in Ya'alev Abu. Now, if you look at most of the Sidurim of the Sfaradim, even I, 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 there's, a, there's a very, very nicely uh, done uh, Sefer, I think it's five or six volumes about all the Tefillot by uh, our Rabbi Sahar uh, Jacobson, called Netib Bina, where he brings all of the Nusahot, and then uh, he brings the Nusah of the Ashkenazim, or Nusah of the Zorvitri, Nusah uh, uh, Sfarad, and in the Nusah Sfarad, it's exactly the way you find it in most Sidurim uh, of the Sfaradim. And that is, we say, Ya'ale v'yavo, Ya'giya y'ra'e v'yirase, Yishama y'paket v'yizakher. In other words, we don't put a Vav before each uh, uh, description. Ya'ale v'yavo, v'yagiya, v'yirae, v'yirase. You will find that in some Sidurim, that's not our custom. Our custom is correctly reflected in the, the printing of Kol Yaakov in, in this, uh, in, in this uh, point. We say, Yalei ve'abo, then, Yagiya yirei ve'yirase. Shmai paket ve'yizakher. That's the first nosah, which is important to note. Now, we've seen uh, books printed uh, mainly from the Iraqi communities where you will have Yalei ve'abo, ve'yagiya ve'yirei. That's not our custom. Uh, it did spread in our community in the 60s a bit because of the, uh, the books being printed by Alam uh, Shalom by Saleh Mansur uh, and, and they were in use in our community so you may come across Sidurim that have that. The next change 
that we have, which is consistent with most Sephardim, is we have Lehen Lehesed Rahamim Bayom. We don't say Lehen Lehesed Rahamim Lehayim Tomim Shalom. That we will not say. Those Lehayim Tomim Shalom is not part of our custom today, nor is it part of most of the Sephardim. Again, the books, the Sidurim that were printed uh, mainly from the Iraqi community, you'll find the Haim Tumim Shalom, as, as, uh, as you will in, in, in maybe one or two other communities as well. Interestingly enough, in the Mahzor Aram Suba, in the Nosah of Ya'alev it doesn't have the Haim Tumim Shalom, it has the Haim Shalom. But then again, that's no Re'ayah, because the entire Ya'alev is quite different than our Ya'alev So clearly that, that's not the, the Nosah that was adopted for our prayers. Finally, we are supposed to say Be'yom Rosh HaChodesh Hazeh. When I say we're supposed to say, that's the Minahag, the prevalent Minahag, it's brought down by all of those Nosha'ot of the Sfaradim that we said, that we say Be'yom Rosh HaChodesh Hazeh. In Kul Yaakov, I guess they, they, they were influenced by maybe maybe by the other Sidurim that were that were printed, uh, and maybe the, the Syrian community in Brooklyn got used to saying "Beyom Rosh Chodesh Azeh." That's the way it's printed here, "Beyom Rosh Chodesh Azeh." But based on on uh, on uh, studying the sources and input, and, and, and uh, Joy Moseri did, did a lot of extensive work on this as well. It seems to be that it, the, the proper nosa should be Beyom Rosh HaChodesh Hazeh. It's followed by, uh, uh, we finish the Tefillot, the way we finish all of the other Tefillot of Arbit on a regular weekday. Uh, next video, we'll be talking about Tefillot Shahrit and Rosh Chodesh. Call to.